Protein is an important component of our diet, but the question remains. How much protein is sufficient? According to recommendations made by the National Academy of Medicine, adults should consume approximately 7 grams of protein per day for every 20 pounds of body weight. To put that into perspective, an adult who weighs 160 pounds ought to shoot for consuming 56 grams of protein on a daily basis. And what are the most reliable and desirable sources of protein? Burgers, barbecue, and hot chicken are some of the state's most popular foods. However, the protein that many people require can also be obtained from a wide variety of vegetables, in addition to the meat sources listed above. Altering your diet to include more vegetables and fewer dishes that aren't as good for you can have additional positive effects on your health. Vegetables, on average, contain fewer calories than other foods, and many varieties are especially high in vitamins, fiber, and other nutrients that contribute to a diet that is healthy. If you enjoy vegetables or simply want to incorporate more of them into your diet, we will be telling you about the top 10 highest protein vegetable. In this video, just watch till the end and subscribe to our channel before starting. Number 10. Peas. Vegetables that are packed with the most protein include green peas at the very top of the list. In a strict sense, they are classified as legumes, however, most of us consider them to be vegetables on account of their light green color and subtle flavor. However, their high protein content might come as a surprise to you, approximately 8 grams of protein can be found in one cup of green peas. In addition, they are very simple to prepare because you can easily incorporate a handful of peas into almost any dish to give it an extra punch of protein. Number 9. Spinach. On a warm day in the South, nothing beats the refreshing taste of a large spinach salad with lots of crunchy toppings. However, you should cook this leafy green so that you can extract the maximum amount of nutrients from it. There is approximately 5.3 grams of protein in one cup of cooked spinach. In addition, there is a high concentration of iron, folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin K, and calcium in these foods. Try mixing raw spinach into your favorite salad or smoothie recipe. In addition, it can be pureed and added to soups, whole spinach leaves can be added to stews and curries, and it can be steamed and served as a side dish. Number 8. Collard Greens. Cooked servings of these dark leafy greens contain approximately 5.1 grams of protein per cup. But if you're like the majority of people who live in Tennessee, you probably don't stop at just one cup. Prepare them by cooking them with onions and garlic, and maybe a little vinegar and hot sauce. If you don't eat meat, you can omit the ham and bacon. Both steamed and sautéed preparations of collard greens are delicious. When combined with other vegetables, such as onions and mushrooms, their flavor is brought out to its full potential. Number 7. Sweet Corn. Don't forget to pick up some sweet corn the next time you're at the supermarket or the farmer's market in your neighborhood. Approximately 4 grams of protein can be found in a large ear of sweet yellow corn although it does not contain as much fiber or other nutrients. As many of the other vegetables on this list, it does have antioxidants. Number 6. Mustard Greens. These spicy leafy greens may be advertised as a traditional favorite dish in the South at your go-to-meat and three restaurant. About 3.6 grams of protein, along with other essential nutrients such as calcium, folic acid, and Vitamin K can be found in one cup of cooked mustard greens. Additionally, one cup provides 144 micrograms of vitamin K, which is greater than 100% of an individual's daily needs. They also contain calcium, potassium, and B vitamins, in addition to being an abundant source of vitamin C. Additionally, they are an excellent source of vitamin E. Mustard greens, like many other types of plants, contain phenolic compounds, which are what give them their antioxidant properties. The proper way to consume mustard greens. Number 5. Lima Beans. If you eat 100 grams of lima beans, you will consume 3.2 grams of protein. They are simple to prepare and contain a lot of fiber. Throw them into some soup to up the total amount of protein in the dish. 
Lima beans and butter beans are in season in Tennessee during the late summer. But you can purchase them canned, dried, or frozen at any time of the year. Number 4. Asparagus. One of the most popular spring crops in Tennessee is asparagus. However, because the store has a freezer section, you can indulge in it at any time of the year. When cooked, one cup of asparagus yields approximately 2.1 grams of protein, while the same amount of raw asparagus yields just under 3 grams. The vegetable known as asparagus is an excellent source of riboflavin and folate and a very good source of vitamin K. In addition, it has a modest amount of phosphorus, magnesium, and vitamin A. Additionally, there is evidence that asparagus can reduce inflammation and fight cancer. In addition to this, it has fructooligosaccharides, which are beneficial. Because they promote the growth of beneficial bacteria in the intestines and are known as prebiotics. Number 3. Broccoli. Broccoli that has been cooked contains approximately 1.9 grams of protein per cup, while broccoli that has been chopped and left raw yields 2.6 grams of protein per cup. Because it contains a significant amount of fiber, folates, vitamin C, vitamin K, and potassium, broccoli has earned the reputation of being a superfood. Broccoli can be prepared steamed, roasted, baked, or sautéed. It is also delicious when used as a side dish, as well as in soups and sauces. Number 2. Cauliflower. A little more than 2 grams of protein can be found in a single cup of raw cauliflower. In addition, cauliflower is an excellent source of fiber and antioxidants. You may not realize how many different things you can do with it, but for example, you can use it to make pizza. Cauliflower is a very adaptable vegetable that can be used in many different kinds of dishes. It is possible for it to take the place of foods that are high in starch and carbohydrates like bread and pasta in many different contexts. Number 1. Brussels Sprouts. In recent years, Brussels sprouts have seen a rise in popularity, and there may be some justification for this trend. About 2 grams of protein, in addition to a significant amount of Vitamin K, calcium, and vitamin C can be found in a cup of cooked Brussels sprouts. Cooking Brussels sprouts can be done in a variety of ways, including boiling, steaming, grilling, or roasting. They are delicious when served as a side dish. Here, as a bonus entry. Watercress. The plant known as watercress is a member of the cruciferous plant family. It has a high protein content relative to its calorie count. The following is the amount of protein found in watercress. There is approximately 0.8 grams of protein in one cup, 34 grams, of watercress. A portion of watercress that is 100 grams in size has 2.3 grams of protein and 11 calories. The majority of its calories come from its protein content, 84%. There are 85 micrograms MCG of vitamin K in one cup of watercress, which is 71% of the daily vitamin K intake that is recommended for adults. This vitamin plays an important role in maintaining healthy blood and bones. In addition to containing B vitamins, calcium, potassium, and vitamin A, watercress is also a good source of the powerful antioxidant vitamin C. Watercress is a rich source of vitamin C. In addition, watercress offers antioxidant defense and is rich in phenolic compounds, both of which may play a role in the prevention of cancer. The proper way to consume watercress. It is best to avoid boiling watercress in water because doing so will reduce the amount of antioxidants that it contains. Eat it raw in salads, stuff it into sandwiches, or blend it into smoothies as an alternative. Do you not know where to begin? Choose a few of these vegetables to examine more closely. Perhaps focusing on the ones that you haven't consumed in the recent past. You could try your hand at a variety of recipes, which may or may not include other foods or ingredients that are high in protein but do not contain meat, until you find a few that are guaranteed to be successful. Even though vegetables don't have as much protein as some other foods, many of them still have a good amount of protein in relation to how many calories they have. Additionally, the vegetables on this list have a high concentration. 
of many other nutrients that have been shown to be beneficial to one's health. Consuming more of these vegetables that are rich in protein is an excellent way to boost the protein and nutrient content of any diet without adding a significant number of additional calories. This is it for today's video. If you enjoy watching such content, do let us know in the comments section and subscribe to our channel for more.